Welcome back to AGB Art. In today's short video, I'm showing you a very basic listing of what materials you need to start acrylic pouring. If you enjoy the video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My studio is in my basement and consists mostly of folding tables. I like the large space because that means I can paint on one side and varnish on the other. I use a separate card table for mixing paints. I use dollar store shower curtains and flat trash bags to keep the paint off of my tables. We have a super large shelf and then I have this plastic organizer that I use for my craft paints. I had this shelf upstairs and just brought it down to keep different things on. And then I picked up that drawer from Facebook Marketplace and then this shelf from a yard sale. This is my first drying shelf. Now this shelf I had planned to store finished paintings on, but right now it's just holding canvases. This is my long-term drying rack, and it is a shoe rack I got from Amazon. And on the sides, I will put a piece of painter's tape with the date so that I know not to touch those paintings for three to four weeks. First, you'll need a surface to paint on, and I highly recommend wrapped canvases. This particular canvas is ready for painting. I love those jumbo push pins and painter's tape. The pins keep the canvas up off of the table and the tape keeps the back of the canvas fairly clean. These are the pins, and I got this container on Amazon. It's probably seven or eight dollars, and see how big they are? They just push directly into the wooden frame. You also need cups. This is my favorite size for mixing the paints. You also need sticks. The dollar store is basically your best friend for some of these items. That is a very small bathroom cup. It's not my favorite to use. I like using the red Solo cups for the base paint, and then I'm using these plastic teaspoon measurements for my different recipes. Now you're going to need paint for sure. And I highly recommend that you do not start with craft paints. Apple Barrel, Craft Smart, even some folk art paints. Even though they are gorgeous colors, they're really not made for Dutch pouring, which was the area I started in. You need to get tube paints. Now the two on either side came from Michaels. The one in the middle, the Amsterdam one, came from Amazon. And if you just start with a couple of colors, and I would recommend that you not start with metallic, just go out and get maybe three tubes of paint, use as many coupons as you can. Arteza is from Amazon. I'm recommending you not start with metallics because they don't behave the same way that regular tube paints behave, and I want you to be successful. American Flood Floetrol is a paint extender. It is at your hardware store. And I use it when I mix my colors and my base. The colors I do one part paint to two parts American Floetrol. And then I add water in to get the same consistency in my paints. And I'm pointing this out to you. I love the tips on these bottles because you can really control how much water goes into the cup. Now, Amsterdam paint and water alone will create cells. You'll notice throughout this video, I'm not showing you any oils because I don't use them. This is Valstar Spar wall paint, and it is in a satin finish. It's pre-mixed ultra white and I use it for my base paint. Again, it's one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and a little bit of water. This is a really inexpensive way to get a large amount of paint. 
these are paint samples. Now you can have them mixed up in a color that you want, or you can be lucky and find a mist tint for a dollar. You also need a butane torch to pop the air bubbles. This one I got on Amazon for about $15. The fluid goes in the bottom and you only have to push it to turn it on. The one that I got at Walmart, you had to finagle something with your finger to get it turned on. You'll also need something to blow the paint. And this was my first blow dryer. It's got a diffuser tip there. That, that's what you really need. As well as temperature control. You wanna blow at cool on low. And I only picked this brand because the store next to Michael's had it. And I was going to Michael's for my paints. You can also blow the paint with a straw. You can bend over and blow it with your mouth. And you can spread it with a palette knife. You can get plastic palette knives at the dollar store. I also like to use the side of a popsicle stick to sort of swiping colors into my paintings. Once your paintings have sat for three to four weeks, all you need to do is get any kind of clear spray paint. This one is very good in my book. This one as well, and you can get this one in glossy. I just happen to have a matte. You just spray lightly three or four layers of spray paint and that will finish your painting. But again, you need to wait at least three to four weeks before you varnish. I hope you enjoyed the video and now you know what to shop for to get going on acrylic pouring.